Number one, quick switching is back and it's deadly as ever. What you see is the Friday Night Fights champion Slayer Zan utilizing rocket quick swaps and more. These are active in campaign and battle mode right now. We are now back to day one swap speeds. This increases the skill ceiling and means more damage per second dealt against demons, an absolute Slayer buff from 2.0. I say skill ceiling and here's why. PB Ballista is the most common quick swap. PB Rocket takes precision too, pun absolutely intended, to pull off. And then to go to the next level, you could even put them all together and work them into a combo if you wanted to, and do it while managing your resources and surviving. Zan says that the switching is faster between PB and the Rocket than it is PB and Ballista, but you can carry that speed over to another gun once. So PB and Rocket, and then PB, then Ballista, the PB and Ballista will come out faster, and on top of that you have the PB and Rocket damage behind it, and whoa, just look at all the damage you can put out. So yeah, this is your time to let those skills show. Are you excited about it? Number two, Gladiator and Khan now drop health in the glory hit and the blood punch. This is important for you to know, and here's why. You will now stay more stocked up. For the Gladiator, you can choose to keep wailing away on him with your regular guns after the strike, and then just hit him, which since update two, you have less of a recovery time after the hit. I covered that in this video. You now have a consistent method to keep your health topped off so you will not feel dry anymore. And next time you play, you will notice the difference. For the con, it's already hard to get armor back in the fight, so having this benefit really helps. You can even play it riskier, use the Crucible, since you know you'll get a huge drop again, amounting to around 500 health or so that you never had before, and probably just as much, if not more, on the Gladiator. Next up, there's a rare issue that was fixed where AI became invulnerable after a failed glory kill. This is huge for anybody that might have ran into this, for game stability and impact on your play. I mean, imagine if you ran into an invulnerable enemy. How would you feel? Now those people that ran into that? won't have that now, so I'm very glad to see that this is being worked on as well as other things. Now there was a mention of the Kako grenade where you would meat hook into him or blood punch and then he would break out of that grenade stagger and bite you. That was listed in the patch notes, but it has since been pulled, so I think they're working on that to maybe fix it up and make it a little better. Be sure to check out one of the other videos here if you like this. Subscribe to the channel here, follow me on Twitch if you want to see more update content and analysis strategy when it's out. I'm Austin, see you later.